Hey friends, today's lesson is for module three, lesson 17. You know what I think is super fun? Planning a party. Have you ever helped to plan a party before? Oh, parties are so much fun. I love to go shopping and get all the supplies. And actually today I actually went shopping for a birthday party that I was having. I'm gonna need you to help me set up the table. Are you ready? Okay, so the first thing we need, of course, are plates. Let's go ahead and count out to make sure we have enough plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, because I have eight friends coming over the party. Now if I have a birthday party and I have plates, what else do I need to go with my plates? Oh yeah, good idea. I need napkins. So if I have eight plates, how many napkins do I need, friends? Yes, perfect. Eight napkins. That way everyone can make sure their hands aren't too sticky. Let me dig around in my bag. Oh, here they are. Let's go ahead and put out the napkins. Let's count as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Did I get them all? Oh no, I'm missing one. Oh, let me see. Let me dig, 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 dig. Oh, yes. Oh, phew. I found it. Eight. Man, I thought we had too few there for a second. All right, and then one more thing was in my bag. Mm, what's something that helps you to celebrate a birthday that's super fun to wear on your head? Oh, yeah, a birthday hat. Okay, I had eight plates for my eight friends, eight napkins for my eight friends. So how many birthday hats are we going to need? Yes, thank you. Eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, mm, oops, seven, and a, oh no, it happened again. Friends, I'm missing one, so how many more hats do I need to find? Yes, one, because I'm seven and I need eight. Let me dig around in my bag. Oh, it's not here. Back to the store I go. I'm glad that I tried to set up for this party early and didn't wait till the last second. You know, this actually is going to help us today. Because our ready goal for today says, I can compare to make sure there is enough. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to look at different items. We're going to compare how many are in each group. Then we're going to see if we have enough to make a match. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So I went out to the backyard and I saw these cute, cute, cute ladybugs, or sorry, cute, cute, cute caterpillars, and they all were hungry. Caterpillars love to munch on leaves. So let's see if we have enough leaves for all the caterpillars. So this is how I'm going to compare. I'm going to go ahead and just move the caterpillar over onto a leaf. So here's one caterpillar, and he's going to go two on that leaf. Here's number two caterpillar. Mmm, delicious. Um, number three caterpillar. Mm, so yummy. Number four caterpillar. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, delicious. And last but not least, our number five caterpillar. Mm. Perfect. Okay, friends, did we have the same amount of leaves as we did caterpillars? Yes, we did. We probably had, we must have had the same number. I had five leaves and I had five caterpillars. I knew that because I made a connection to see which ones matched up with the other ones. And each caterpillar was able to sit on the leaf. Now the thing is with my super cool computer, I could make the items move. But you know what, when you are looking at your worksheet, it's a little difficult to have the items move in order to make sure that they connect, that they all have a match. So what I'm gonna recommend is that we draw a line. Now here are some of the goodie bags for the birthday party. In each goodie bag, I want to put a Tootsie Roll. So this is what I'm going to do. Just like if I had a worksheet, I wouldn't be able to move this Tootsie Rolls over. I'd have to draw a line to connect the two. So watch. Let's see, I'm going to take this Tootsie Roll and whoop, I drew a line to show that it's going to connect to that bag. All right, and then let me do it with the next one. Perfect. Now, why do you think I'm drawing such a nice, neat, straight line? Yes, exactly. I need to make sure that my drawings are very organized. 
because I don't want to get confused. All right, good job. Let's try another one. Let's see. Um, this to zero can go there. And uh, oh, this Tootsie Roll can go in that bag. All right, did I miss one? Oh, thank you. Yes, this Tootsie Roll is going to go in that bag. So friends, did I have enough Tootsie Rolls? I did. How was I able to show that? Perfect. I drew a line to connect to see which ones I had to make sure that I had a bag for each Tootsie Roll. And it works out, I did. What a nice job shopping. Let's try another one. Whoa. These monkeys are supposed to be south for the winter, but they're up north where it's a little chilly, so they all need a scarf. Let's go ahead and compare to see if they have, if each monkey has a scarf. Now, you can't move the scarves around like I could, so what should you do? Yeah, draw a line. Right now, I want you to go ahead and press pause with your finger. Or, yeah, press pause with your finger. Now, either using that same finger, or you can even get a dry erase marker and write on your iPad. Not a regular marker, though, friends. I want you to go ahead and slide your finger around or slide your marker around and see if you can connect them all to compare how many monkeys to how many scarves. When you're done, press play. Okay, are you ready to tell me if there are enough scarves for the, each monkey? Okay, perfect. Ooh, all right, let's see if I get the same answer. Let's see, I'm gonna draw a line. And so I'm gonna draw a line there, scarf to monkey, there, scarf to monkey, monkey to scarf, monkey to, or scarf to monkey, scarf to monkey, scarf to monkey, and scarf to monkey. Did I have enough? I did. Is that what you got? Excellent job. Friends, you did a nice job comparing to make sure there is enough. And the way that we can compare the picture is to draw a line so that we can connect it so we can see that one directly or right away has a match with another set of objects. Okay, it's your turn. Now, this is our delicious goodie bag so we put the Tootsie Rolls in. And I want you to draw a line from the lollipop to the bag of candy to show that, um, to compare the two make sure that we have enough bags for each lollipop. Now, if you don't, or if you aren't able to do it on the screen, you can go ahead and just draw a quick picture of the lollipops and the bags and draw a line connecting them. All right? All right, good luck, friends.